Hi, this is Bobby Klein. I'm the translator and the interpreter of the I Ching. This is a new earth I Ching, easy to understand, easy to put to use. It's an oracle, 3,000 years of wisdom wrapped up in this. So sit back, take a breath. If you've got a question in your mind, ask it. If not, just hang in and you'll get some answers. And that's what this is all about. The I Ching, they say, is the book of change, and it is, but it's also the book of answers. All right. Tune in. Drop in. You're home. Yeah. You're home. Song of the Night Bird. Becoming part of my dream. A sweet, soothing song. Hey, I want to shout out to Soul Space. I heard that the music was uh, covering up the meditation. We'll do another meditation and I'll send it to you. And it's nice to see new faces on uh, uh, new faces on, on Soul Space. So Soul Space is a membership that we meet um, every couple of weeks, and it's a great group. We do meditations, and I lecture sometimes on the I Ching, sometimes on uh, different things that are you know kind of go whizzing around the world. And um, it's, it's, it's sweet. If you join, you have access to um, the library of talks and uh, some meditations, and it's going to grow and going to grow. So think about it. Um, also, you know that the subscription is free to the uh, text. If you go to my website, that you can sign up and have it uh, for, for free. And um, Soul Space is uh, not free, but it's uh, really worth, worthwhile. A nice community of people. Anyway, um, further, further we go. So there we go. You know, there well, it was last night. I wrote the, I wrote the um, uh, haiku because last night, as you know, I've been having trouble sleeping. And uh, so I was kind of half asleep and half awake, you know, that place. And I heard the uh, a bird, night bird, singing, and uh, and then it really it became part of my dreaming, which was kind of cool. And it was all soothing. So it was song of the night bird becoming part of my dream, a sweet, soothing sound, 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 sound. sound, sound, sound. So as we access the oracle for some information, some guidance on what's happening this week, you know, just what's up, man, what's happening, what's happening? And uh, number 60, you know, there's 60, look, there's 64 sections to the I Ching, right? And uh, each one is filled with answers and guidance. And um, so as coming to, to it being answers right now just kind of just go through your life right now and think about what you want some answers for you know is it a situation that you're in is it a relationship is it a business is it just normal life uh, you know is it uh, health whatever it is just have that in your mind as you listen to the um, reading for this week, okay? Just uh, take a breath for a second and just think about it. All right, you got that question? No? Like, what, what is, what if? 
can I, should I, all that, right? Get that out there. So the coins came up for the six lines and took me to number 60, Jai, articulating and boundaries. The trigram above was about the precipice, a snare. Don't get caught. And below was the open, radiance, pause, time to move freely. The wisdom. Each week, I Ching talks about, gives some wisdom about what it's going to be about. So remember now that we're talking about what's going on in your life. Right, take it. You have reached an intersection in time, not space. Boundaries must be firm, firmly stated, recognized, and respected. Hey, that's it, you know. Set your boundaries and for yourself first, you know. Just have your boundaries about where you'll go, what you'll do, you know, keeping yourself in order, keeping things straight, keeping yourself organized, and, and also have boundaries that you do not want crossed by any situation, any government, any religion, any guru, any shaman, any person in your life, and it just you just these are my boundaries. Do not cross my boundaries. Well, what do you do if somebody crosses your boundaries? Well, if it's a person, you try talking to them. Say, hey, you know, <laughs> you uh, get off my cloud, will you? You kind of uh, get in the way here about what I want to do and about what I want to get done. And um, if they can't, if the person you can't talk to, then maybe you just got to leave the situation, right? If it's a situation that you're in that seems to be pushing on your boundaries, see what strength it's bringing out in you, right? If we're being pushed to our boundaries, it's giving us, it's talking to us, telling us that it's time that we got to set boundaries, and we're in our primal self, where the space that we feed the soul. That needs boundaries in order to be most efficient, right? Our soul path, to be loving, to be healthful. Without clear boundaries, any, all, all your precious stuff, you know, all your love, everything you know, it can just go into chaos, right? Because you haven't set good, firm boundaries. And, you know, the, your, your stuff will hit the fan, you know, and, just, and that's not what you want. And it's not, not that hard, but you got to have discipline, you know. Look, it, it, if it's about giving energy, about giving money, giving emotions, it's important that you have these limitations. And not that you're limited, because you are without limits. That's not the situation. But the energy and the effort that you expend to get to the point that you want to get the work done, want to move, want to grow does have limits, and you've got to recognize your limits. Are they physical limits, spiritual limits, emotional limits? Look, all that are sacred gifts, and sacred gifts of the universal spirit, you know, old, uh, the big bopper in the sky, you know, that, that's the wise person uh, who, who does not squander gifting, right? You just don't, you don't give it up, because you can. You can have all these gifts, and you can just blah, 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 give it out, here and there without thinking about it, and then you're ended up empty-handed, right? So you don't want to end up grasping for air. By knowing and honoring your limits, that's where success comes. Moving outside of your inner truth, that's boundaries, will leave you wanting and fearful, and that's not fun, <laughs> and that's not what we're working for. You know, we're in this to do our work. And to take us to, a, to, a, to another spot, to a spot of joy, a spot of knowing. It, it, when you have boundaries, right, and you got to think it out, you got to have a plan. And if you have a boundary, it's not that you're going to punish somebody because they're crossing your boundaries or even be severe with them. It's be loving within your ability to love. And plan your projects. That's going to reflect where your skills and experience are right now and set financial limitations according to your present means. Be of service to others. Okay. You know, we talk about that a lot. This is the elixir. This is, you know, Gaia. This is the elixir. B 
being of service to others. And that's a, that's a component that is missing. And it, 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 if there's some place in your life, if you're not really being of service consciously, being of service, you know, having something working that's your of service, when you add it, it's mind-blowing because what happens is stuff starts to go smoother and starts to open up and you kind of get your dreams are, are, are uh, opening, right? You know, you're, you're waking dreams, you're sleeping dreams, your imaginings, your messages of possibilities. You know, it, that's where it is. And you got to have dreams, you know, and, and have dreams that, you know, that, uh, that you, you know, your dreams, dreams will come true, right? And that, but we got to work on it. It just doesn't happen, okay, I dream this, it's going to happen. No. You gotta do the work, set the set the boundary, pay attention to the information that's out there, and then you get your fulfillment. There you get your satisfaction. As you're working, as you're living, as you're loving within your capacity, your dreams on their own, without prodding, will manifest. As will love and the depth of feeling that you have desired. And be the love if you want to love. Be the love. Be the love that you desired. Be <clears throat> open to others, you know, in your creative life, your spiritual life, as you move to express your deepest knowing of yourself, your deepest knowing of your own limitations. That's going to be as important as the medium you choose to work in, right? These considerations are, are of the elements, you know. So we talk about what is the medium you're going to work in. Is it an investor? How are you investing? Is it art? Is it your spirituality? Is it you know relationships? Wherever you're, you know you're you're putting yourself, uh, that's where you set your boundaries, and that's where you operate. Then that's how you achieve the very top, the very pinnacle of your physical, your mental, and your spiritual wellness. Here's where the benefits of your honest assessment of your personal gifts your personal limitation. The ego sometimes gives the message that if you do not move quickly and give beyond measure, you're going to miss the boat, right? That's the ego saying, hey, man, you get it. if you give more, you know, give, 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 and, and then people are going to like you, you know? It's cool to give, and it's cool to be charitable, but don't go against what is practical and your, don't go against your boundaries. Don't let this e don't let the ego, you know, push you into that. Universal laws say to intone what you need. If you move steadily towards your goal, keeping your boundaries firm, when you do arrive at your destination, right, you have not exhausted yourself. You'll be strong and you'll be able to reap the benefits, be able to recognize and receive the, the rewards that you've earned by, by receiving compassion, correctness, loving kindness, commitment, you know, and it's always steady effort. Set limits in limitation. Yeah, you, you heard me right. You know, if you're going to limit yourself, limit your limits, right? Strive to not underestimate your capabilities. That's a big one, man. If, if that's the case, recognize and break beyond confining self-restrictions that, that, that because of uh, you, you've imposed on yourself or others have with fear or self-doubt, telling you're not good enough. And that voice is, hey, well, play it safe. You know, don't, don't take that step. You know, you're not really good enough. If this is you, then breaking out of these self-restricting boundaries then your benefit is to do it and do it with an awareness of not going too far into the opposite, but just do it, you know? And, and be, it's all about smooth action. As we're moving now, be outrageous and courageous, right? Repeat after me. I am outrageous and I am courageous. Be moderate in your moderation, right? Play, love, laugh, sing, dance, eat well, eat clean, <clears throat> eat clean, be compassionate to all sentient beings. 
Honor your family and your friend. Give love and support to those who are less fortunate than you, but all within your known boundaries. Yeah, eat clean. I'm on a green juice fast, man. It's really, can you hear it in my voice? <laughs> really a lot of energy, a lot, a lot of pushing. It feels really good. Um, so in your body, in your mind, in your spirit, get, bring, it, bring it into the places of harmony. And here's where you're going to achieve the wanted benefits by not overusing your body's resources, right? Don't push yourself too far. Hey, listen, that's a big lesson. I, I just really keep learning. And, and it's about cycles. Oh, here I am, you know, knocking on the doorway of 80 years old. And I mean, I love to go. I love to do stuff. I love to keep moving. I love to keep that. But I have to do cycles of work and rest and work and rest. And work, and, rest. and then I can do it all, right? I, but I'm not pushing myself beyond. You got to take care of myself, you know. This is how we come to recognize uh, the space where negative thoughts are come in, and they impact you, right? So feed well and cleanse your body. Feed well and cleanse your mind. Feed well and cleanse your spirit so that you may be a good and proper caretaker of the temporary gift of your miraculous body. Yeah. You know, let it reflect. This movement into the new earth, you know. The name of my book, the translation of the I Ching, is the new earth I Ching. So, you know, look at your body in that way too, right? Because we're, we're at a tipping point right now on the planet. And we're each a reflection of the situation. And it's all about timing. This hexagram is on point because the work right now is a poignant message for you, for your family, for your community, for your tribe, and for yourself. Hear the voice of Gaia in wind moving through the trees, in the sound of the birds, in the sound of the moving water. You know, I talked about the night bird. It's got a message if you listen, translate it, and trust your translation. Listen to your heart. Listen to your body, not your mind. Let your body talk to you. Like mine was talking to me. He said, oh, you got to need to fast. Yeah. There's a really good bakery here <laughs> called Italdo. And uh, I, I go there to buy bread. And it's the best, best, best bread. It's like as good as anywhere you can get here, wherever. But the cookies. <laughs> so yeah, so I'm cleansing now. I'm decookifying. Hey, like yeah, I just thought about it. you got to do that on your computer to get rid of your cookies. So be quiet and hear the voice of Gaia as the wind moves in the trees. Your heart and your body is speaking to you, not your mind. Honor yourself first in all things, and then with a loving hand, reach out to all your relationships, right? Business, friends, animals, yourself, with a kind, compassion hand, sweet, soft, loving hand. Progress this will be accelerated by moving away from and with letting go of people or situations that no longer serve you. In doing this, look to who you might be holding in an unstated form of bondage and quickly set them free. Do you hear that? Sometimes you don't realize it or just it's, you know, that we set something up or holding somebody and not let them loose, let them loose. You know, if you're unsure or fear loss, you know, know that what's yours, it'll return. It'll, it'll be clean, refreshed, and, and will find harmony with your soul's frequency. You know, it's like, you know, 
let it go. If it's meant to be with you, it's going to come back, right? And if you let it go, you're going to be relieved. And what is yours will be free to come back. You know, this is where true love and true friendship resides, and, and, and it's easy. You know, if you find yourself in a friendship that's filled with judgment or jealousy, it's time to move on, you know. Be the love that you desire now as you move forward. Become a beacon of stillness and peace, right? Shine like the sun at midday. Let your service speak for you. Let your teaching speak for you. Walk with your fellow pilgrims on this soul journey on the road less traveled with a little bit of jazz from the streets of Paris. beautiful, beautiful week. Celebrate, dance, sing, laugh. Set your boundaries, stay with them. Because in that is your, you know, that's your solid, that's your ganas, that's where you got your, your hara, that's where you got your center. You can't be with the one you love, love the one you're with. <laughs> And let yourself be loved. You know, let somebody love you. It doesn't mean you got to do something about it. Just let them love you and feel it. It's okay. If you like giving it back, give it back. If not, don't. But just allow yourself to be free enough to let yourself be loved. And then in turn, when you love, it will be so pure and so powerful. You know, no matter how old the relationship, how new it is, how you know deep you are in the situation, doesn't matter. But just let yourself be there. So I tell you from here at the 20th parallel, the heat of the day is here. And it does get hot. In la kesha la kin. I am the other you. And I like it that way. Yes, I do. Namaste, my sisters, sweet goddesses. Keeping the planet healed, keeping that open, open place of the womb so we can all grow, heal, and be born. And namaste, my brothers, walk with peace. Teach peace. Teach peace with strength, light, and love. I said it already. I am the other you. And God darn it, I love it that way. I really do. Ciao.